my PhD supervisor, Professor Ongu Mechli. I went to him, I said, I am interested in your area. If you want to be a physicist, you have to talk physics, eat physics, sleep physics, work physics, live and die physics. She's a motivator and she's a go-getter. She is very determined and can be quite dogged. My research is on atmospheric geophysics. It has to do with the flow of ions in the ionosphere and the interaction with geomagnetic field. We have discovered that the solar wired deviation, which is what we study in the upper atmosphere, could be used to determine the upper mantle conductivity in West Africa, which has never been carried out in that area. Great moment indeed. <laughs> I'm giving her moral courage to, to be bigger than me. And I think she's almost getting much bigger than me now. And I enjoy it. <laughs> I am proud that my work is going higher and higher. And more students are coming. My, my group growing fantastically. She's someone who pushes you to the brinks of any research she's given you to do. It's a fantastic way of supervising. In our university, we started 1960. For 40 years, there was no record of female head of department of physics. I was the first woman head of physics. So I broke that barrier. And after that, my headship, another woman took over. So we need to encourage them. That's why I always write more on now, encouraging women, encouraging girls to participate. Because if they do participate in development of science and, techn and technology, invariably, it means development of a nation. The physicists must be in greater participation. Uh, because I've said once that life is all about physics and physics is life.